you guys i'm back <laughs> serenity soul invictus thanks for watching um i just did a video a couple minutes ago and i may sneak out like i said to try and upload it <laughs> but right now i just had like a light bulb and I want to say where us along the lines where I was talking about doing the spiritual work and all of that stuff to strengthen and empower yourselves I want to talk about the importance of the ancestors as well somebody that I watch actually a few people that I watch have made mention of this in recent videos um, but I'm going to talk about it as well because I think it's very important right now. A lot of us have been neglecting those practices or those duties that we should be doing. And I feel like for me, for me, it's very important because in my most recent past, I have lost my grandfather just a couple months ago um, in January. I have lost my dad a couple months prior to that. Um, back in September and so it's something that is actually pretty profound to me because for me because because like I said we usually neglect those we look at the obituaries we push them away after a while we sometimes sit down and would study it and look at it and be like mm, yeah you know feeling the emotional weight of it but you just put them away and you walk away from it like you know okay you know life goes on when in fact nothing can be further from the truth those people are you those people who have passed whether you had a relationship with them or not that is who you are that is where you came from from whence you came okay like people don't understand the the seriousness of this um, right now with all of these things taking place around us right that I think of course you know your almighty creator is definitely your first line of defense definitely to say you know asking for guidance protection wisdom clarity all of those things and other gifts that may be dormant within us but the second line of defense you guys is or are your ancestors because where did you come from you didn't just land here from the sky you didn't drop out of heaven <laughs> to the earth on a hospital bed or in a crib you know you were created by those people that have passed on and so it's very important for you to remember that a lot of time our system and society puts things in a way you see all of this shaking up that's taking place this is to remind us now the truth of the truth the society has made us forget the truth the truth society wants us to be weak society wants us to be dumbed down weak lazy tired fat sick sad you know what i mean i can go on and on and on but i think you get the drift everything that you have really been thought taught think about it you need to rethink right now because like i said the veil is being lifted the shift is happening before your very eyes and so it is time for everything that has been the norm for you to shift so you need to rethink a lot of things that you've been mindlessly just going by as normal rethink it think about it what are you actually avoiding what are you actually not paying attention to it looks like it's gonna rain guys and I think this is this is I think this is very symbolic of what I'm talking about um, I'm gonna hurry up but the things that they tell you not to do are sometimes the most important and beneficial things you ought to be doing look at look at other people in other other of other races other countries they have monuments they have statues they have all kinds of busts and things like that to commemorate their ancestors but yet they tell you 
oh, those people are dead and gone. They're in the grave. Like, you know, the dead can't feel, the dead can't hear. They are right. The physical body of the dead can't feel or hear or do anything. However, spirit is paramount. Spirit is above all. And in spirit, they live. And in you, in spirit, and in truth, and in flesh, they live. They are flesh of your flesh, blood of your blood, bone of your bone. Okay? You didn't create yourself. All right. And so, like I said, everything that people have been trying to get you to go the opposite route, you need to think and come back to because that's the foundation of life for you that is where things are going to improve in your life for you okay and so like i said the ancestors there are things there are things that you need to heal within yourself it's raining you guys there are things i'm gonna go sit underneath the thing thingy thing thing that tree is very cool there are things that you need to heal Within your relationship, there are things that you need to actually heal within yourself first. Even if you did not have a relationship with those people, your ancestors, there are things in your generational line that still need to be looked upon, that still need to be taken care of. Okay, some people have deeper scars, some people have parents who've been scarred by their parents, some people have all kinds of pains and things like that that they have not paid attention to. And it's eating them alive. It's actually, it's actually totally eroding the quality of their life. And they die, some of them, with these pains still on them. Go to your ancestors, clear this up. Even if you don't know them, go to them in spirit, go to them in your heart and say, you know something, whatever has taken place in the past, in our history, in our bloodline, from the beginning straight up, right? Whatever it was, things you don't even know sometimes, go to them in spirit and say, you know something, light a candle, light a candle, a white candle will suffice. A black candle, of course, is next to it to absorb negativity because this is something I, I actually do from time to time the white represents their light the spirit okay the black is to absorb negative energy go to them and say you know what you know oh geez I'm getting wet <laughs> thank you ancestors <laughs> oh this is nice on this side this is great <laughs> but go to them and say that you know whatever it is now it's over it's over you are free and wow it's pouring <laughs> you are free I forgive you you know I release whatever it is that has been held on for so many lifetimes or whatever I am releasing it now to our Creator to transmute into love, into strength. Because what can you possibly keep holding on to after the people are dead? You are actually poisoning yourself, just like if something were to take place in your life, abuse, whatever it may have been. And like they say, when you drink the poison, sitting down hoping for the enemy to die, you're slowly dying inside. The point is not for you to drink the poison. The point is for you to release that and say, you know something, I'm moving on. The person is gone already. So for the situations whereas you may have parents that may have not been a part of your life, you may have whatever it may have been, you have to learn to let it go. You have to find the truth, summon the truth within yourself and the, the forgiveness to say, you know something, holding on to this is going to limit me greatly in my life. And I choose now to let it go. You guys, this rain came out of nowhere. I mean, look at the sky. Look at it. 
I mean out of nowhere. The sun was just shining brightly, okay? <laughs> so I feel like what I'm talking about is a very powerful message that you needed to hear. Um, ways that you can connect with your ancestors, of course. Of course, you can create an altar for them, a space, a meditative space. You don't always have to do a ritual for them. You can just have a space where you have pictures set up, trinkets, little things, items that were their favorite things. If there were ancestors that you were close to, their favorite items, perfumes, whatever, maybe a cigar, like they say, you know, older spirits like the whiskey, the dark rum, stuff like that. Um, you know, just set up a space that is dedicated to them, to their memory. And then when you sit down there, you are like, you are, it's like you are evoking the feeling of them within yourself. So stuff like that, have a candle, incense. I like particularly sandalwood and jasmine. Um, sandalwood is good for negative energy cleansing as well. Um, tapping into your intuition and stuff like that. Things like um, mugwort, frankincense and myrrh. I don't know if, if you can hear me, if this rain is pretty loud. Let me just wipe that off there. <laughs> Uh, jasmine for the sweet, that sweet smelling stuff, you know, um, patchouli, things like that. Definitely, I have like a little prayer that I say. Sometimes you can, you don't even, like I said, you don't even have to do a formal ritual. I pray, I always pray beforehand. And then, when I do connect, sometimes things may be on my mind that may have taken place when I was a child. Sometimes things that have not been resolved in my life, I talk to them about. I'm like, you know something? I felt this way because of this. And now I feel like now that it's off my chest, I can move forward better. And so it's helping you on, a, on two levels. It's helping you to release your own stress, your own built up frustration and stuff about a particular situation, as well as, as the spirit world helping you you're helping them they're helping you so you guys i think i'm gonna wrap it up for now because it's getting kind of loud i'm starting to shout <laughs> and i'm looking pretty weird in the corner here <laughs> so um but i hope this has resonated with you i hope you understand where i'm coming from with this i may come back and continue to talk about it but for now i just wanted to throw this in there because it's very important like i said this great shift is taking place we need whoever whomever on our team we need them to be strong as well and so if you believe in esoterics in occultism in mysticism in alchemy in magic spiritualism any of that area you would understand and believe what i'm talking about is true you would understand why the importance why it is so important to do at this very time so you guys till i come back i'm gonna say Phew. Peace out. <laughs> Namaste. Blessed be. Till I get back, guys. Bye.